Hey LearnDash fans, in this video we are going to take a look at the LearnDash licensing and management plugin. So this was released somewhere in the middle of 2022, I don't remember the exact version number, but um, LearnDash updated their licensing and management system. So this plugin is relatively new. It should have been automatically installed when you updated to, I believe, LearnDash 4.3.0.2. Um, the name was changed in 4.3.1. It used to be the LearnDash Hub. Now it's LearnDash Licensing and Management. If it was not installed when you updated LearnDash and you don't currently have it active, you can go to your account, go to account.learndash.com and log in. And then there's an add-ons tab. When you go there, you can download this plugin and then install it just the way you would any other plugins by going to plugins and add new you'd upload the zip file and activate the plugin. So I wanna just walk you through a few of the things that look a little different once this is active, um, and as well as a, a new feature that, um, that we have here that LearnDash gives us for managing our license and the add-ons. So first, let's jump up here to LearnDash LMS and add-ons. So this add-on screen was revamped. It used to look a lot different, but now with this new licensing and management plugin, um, we have a different look and feel with also some new features. So there is a link to LearnDash's official documentation up here in the top right, just to help you get to that a little faster. Then you'll see two tabs here. You'll see LearnDash and you'll see third party. So by default, you're on the LearnDash tab. This is only going to list official LearnDash add-ons here. The third party tab will open up a new window. Let's just click that. That'll open up a new window and it'll take you to your plugins and add new page and it'll show you all of the plugins that have the tag of LearnDash. So if you're looking for a new feature, um, something that LearnDash itself doesn't offer, there might be a third-party plugin that you can come here and search in the WordPress plugin repository. There might be a LearnDash plugin that can give you that feature you want. This is only gonna show free plugins. It's not gonna show you premium options, so just keep that in mind. So let's close this out now and go back and take a look at this LearnDash page. So one of the new features here is bulk actions. You've got a couple of different things you can do and you can do it in bulk. You can select over here with these check boxes, multiple plugins at the same time. And once you do that, then you can either install, update, activate, deactivate, or delete all of the ones that are checked. Checking this box up here right next to the dropdown will select everything for you. And once you've selected your options that you wanna have a bulk action on, then you would choose that bulk action and then click this apply button and that would apply this action to everything here that's checked. Now you'll notice that LearnDash shows you the ones you have installed um, first and then this says available. So these are the ones that are not installed but that are official LearnDash plugins that LearnDash manages and supports. So if you want to individually install any of these available ones, you come over here, hover over this button, you'll see it says install, you would click that, it would install it for you. Um, then you'll get something like this plug right here. This is the icon that will, when you click it, will activate that plugin. So you'll see right here, I have the LearnDash Certificate Builder installed, but not active. So if I click this, that would activate it. And then on the other end here, Zapier for LearnDash, that one is already active. So I have this power button here that will actually deactivate it. And then the trash can obviously is for deleting that plugin. So you can manage these individually with these buttons over here, or you could do it in a bulk manner by using these check boxes and then using the bulk actions menu box up here. It's also nice that LearnDash shows you very quickly which versions of all of these plugins you are currently using. It's only for the ones that you have installed. For all of these ones down here, obviously you haven't installed them yet, so LearnDash can't tell you which version you're using. But that's just nice so that you can quickly troubleshoot something. If somebody says, hey, what version are you on? Boom, it's right here and you can see that. Now let's jump over to the LearnDash settings screen. I just wanna show you here the LMS license tab. That's always been there with LearnDash, but now um, this looks a little bit different than it used to. Um, so I have my license key here and my email here already. And so they are not editable and you see this sign out button. So if you need to change your email or license key on a site, you'll wanna click this sign out. That'll let you then update and put a new email and license key into this area. If you have not added it yet, you won't see a sign out button. You'll see probably something that says either save or activate, something along those lines. Um, and these fields will be blank. 
and you'll be able to enter your email and license key and then click uh, save or activate or whatever that button is going to be down here. That will activate your license and make sure that you're able to get automatic updates from the LearnDash uh, plugin. Now it is important to note that um, the add-ons will not show up. You won't have this add-on screen if you don't have an active license here. So that's obviously one of the benefits of having a license. And the other big thing that a license does is allows you to have updates to the LearnDash plugin. So every time that LearnDash releases a new update, whether it be for a security issue or whether it be for new features or whether they're fixing bugs, um, having an active license key means you get those updates. If you don't have that active license key and you have not renewed your subscription with LearnDash, then you don't get access to those things, which could make your site insecure and could also mean that things that might be broken with it or little bugs that you're experiencing, they won't be fixed. So um, that is the, the huge benefit there of having your license key. I will also mention though, that if you do not renew and your license key is no longer active, LearnDash will still work. It will work in its current form, whatever version of LearnDash you had installed when your license key went inactive, you'll be stuck on that version forever until you resubscribe and reactivate your license key and pay for another year's worth of a subscription to LearnDash. So that's how that works. Nothing is going to completely stop working, but you definitely lose out on a lot of the benefits. And I do recommend if you're actively using LearnDash on your site, that you maintain an active license key and keep your subscription active. The final thing I wanna show you here is on the advanced tab. So we're still on LearnDash LMS settings. Now we're gonna come over to advanced. And with the licensing and managing plugin, we have this new license visibility option here. So let me show you how this works. It's pretty simple and straightforward. Basically by default, anyone who's an administrator on your site is gonna have access to this license page as well as the add-ons page. It means they can install, delete, deactivate, activate different add-ons, and they can manage your license if they want to. So if you don't want certain admins to be able to do this, then what you can do is you'll see right here, I've got this one. I can come down here and use this remove link, simply click that, and then that has removed that user. They can no longer access your license or your add-ons. If you needed to add a new user, you can come into this area here and start typing the name of a user. It shows up in the box. You go ahead and click it and then click this little add button that will add that user back in. Now they will have access to um, update your license key as well as manage your LearnDash add-ons. So I hope you found this helpful. Um, if you're having any kind of license visibility issues, I will put a link in the description to um, reasons that might be causing your license not to work or your add-ons page not to show up. And then also some things you can do to try to fix that. There are quite a different, a handful of different reasons why it can happen. And I try to walk through as many as I can and provide you solutions to fix that. So look for that link in the description. And thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.